be showing you how to get this beautiful holiday glam so funny story I was this close this close that close to not doing this video I was like so not into this look at all I did one eye off of camera I did this eye and I was like hell no I'm not doing it I'm not filming I'll film tomorrow but I just kept kind of pushing through making little changes here and there and I decided to film it because honestly that's the beauty of makeup I know sometimes we start off with looks and we're like no no but I encourage you guys to keep pushing through because sometimes you'll be very surprised and you may absolutely love the look. Sometimes you may not, <laughs> but I actually don't mind this look at all. I think what's weird for me is I'm so used to like my inner corner being really defined. Like I like kind of like a cut crease situation um, and that was my intention, but then it kind of just got kind of blown out and I added a lot of glitter and it's just kind of like all blended into each other. But I think it's really pretty and perfect for the holidays. We got a little gold, a little green in there. And um, yeah, I do I do like it. So I decided to film it. Um, hopefully you guys like it as well. But anyways, I wanted to quickly mention in today's video, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place Nubian 2 palette. I purchased this on Black Friday. But guess what? I also purchased an extra one so I got two one for myself and one for one of you guys so if you want a chance to win this gorgeous Juvia's Place palette then definitely go check me out on Instagram that is where I will be hosting the giveaway so yeah if you want a chance to win this you gotta go check me out on Instagram I will link it down below I will also put my Instagram on the screen um, it's just kind of like a little gift to you guys for the holidays um, and what else oh if you haven't checked out my last video where I share my exciting news go check it out um, for those of you that don't know I am going to be offering online makeup lessons for aspiring makeup artists makeup artists just starting out in the industry or even if you're in the industry and you just kind of want to refresh your skills I'm going to be launching the lessons on the 15th there's one lesson up as of right now and it is a business lesson but all the makeup lessons will be launching this Saturday so keep an eye out for that and don't forget to sign up for my newsletter on onlinemakeuplessons.com under the online classes tab by signing up, you will just stay updated with all the classes, but also you get entered into a giveaway. I will be announcing the winner on the 15th. I'm going to be giving away a MAC eyeshadow quad. So if you want a chance to win those eyeshadows for your freelance kits and yeah, definitely go sign up for the newsletter. And also please don't sign up for the newsletter if you just want the eyeshadows. Only sign up if you actually intend on taking the lessons. I want them to go to somebody that is excited to use those eyeshadows in their freelance kit and on their clients. So anyways, if you want to know how I got this holiday glam look, then just keep on watching. All right, you guys, so we're going to get started. Can we just talk about what a difference eyelashes make? I mean, and just eye makeup in general. I mean, look at that. That's crazy to me. <laughs> so I already kind of explained to you guys that I was like this close to not sharing this look with you guys, but it's growing on me. It is. And I feel like it's just an easy holiday look. Like it's festive. I feel like even if you're like a beginner at makeup, you could probably do this look. No, you could definitely do this look. So let's just get started. Um, I'm going to start off with the P. Louise base in Rumor 1. And I'm just going to put a little bit on my palettes. And I'm going to carve out my eyebrow space. I just use this brush here. This came in a paint like set, like a face painting set. Um, so it's not even actually a makeup brush, but it works. So I'm just going to use this to um, 
carve out my brows. It's like the perfect shape, as you can see. It just kind of fits right under that brow area. Okay, taking um, the rest of that base, I'm just going to take like a little brush like this. This is like a mini kabuki brush, basically, for your eye. And I'm just going to press it onto the whole lid area. All right, so once I have my base on, now it's looking really bright and light. Um, I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is the Morphe, what is this? This is the Morphe M514. It's just like a tiny little blending brush. And I'm going to take this shade here in this palette. It is the Madagascar shade. It is very similar to MAC Uninterrupted, if you're familiar with that. Um, that's actually one of my favorite MAC shadows. It's a pearl longwear formula, I believe. But yeah, I'm just going to make sure there's no creasing before I go in with this shade. So I'm going to load up my brush with that Madagascar shade. I'm going to knock off the excess. And I'm going to start in the center of my eye here. I'm just going to push and roll around that brush right in this socket in the center. See right there. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more. You want to add a little bit as you go. You know, apply a little bit, blend it, add more to the brush. Um, that's kind of how I like to do it. So right now I'm not focused on it looking super blended. I'm more so focused on it just getting that just getting that pigment on there. So once I feel like I kind of have a good amount of product in the crease, I'm going to start kind of working that in and I'm just going to start wiggling that brush around. Just in that crease. Don't forget to bring that color in here. You don't want to neglect that area and then I'm going to kind of lift off my brush a little bit like add a little less pressure and I just want to kind of blend out up towards the brow and I might have to add a little bit more product just so I can blend up a little bit higher all right, I think we're good. So once I feel like that brown is pretty blended in there and I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm gonna move on to the next shade. I'm gonna be taking the shade Kenya, which looks like a dark chocolate brown and it is matte. However, it is kind of like a dark eggplant brown. It does have a purple um, hue to it. So. Be careful. Sometimes I find that with Juvia's place shadows, um, it looks one color in the pan, especially with the matte shades. And if you start blending it out, it kind of looks like a different color. This is one of those colors. It looks like a true chocolate brown, but once you start blending it out, it actually has like a purple color to it. So um, I'll show you. So I'm just using this BH Cosmetics brush. It's from their marble set. And I'm just going to kind of pat that on the outer corner, wiggle it back and forth. I'm trying not to get any fallout because I did do my foundation. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but you can definitely see that this is more of like a purpley brown instead of like a true chocolate brown. Every time I pick up color, I am knocking the excess off. That is definitely going to prevent you from having fallout all over the place. I'm bringing that color all the way in as well since I am going to be cutting the crease even though this you won't really see. I still like to kind of put it there anyway. All right, going back in with the initial blending brush that we used, I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of Madagascar and just kind of buff out the edges of the Kenya shade. All right, looking good, looking blended. I'm happy with it so far. So now I'm going to cut the crease. Even though we don't really have a defined cut crease situation going on, that was the initial thought process going into this look. So I'm just gonna do it anyway since I did it on the other eye, even though we end up kind of like 
just making this little this inner corner area a little bit more diffused. Um, but also just by doing this, it's gonna help the eyeshadows be more pigmented on the lid anyway. So you can just do it anyway. So I'm just taking a little bit more of the Rumor um, base and I'm actually just gonna use the brush I used for underneath my brows. And I'm just going to create my lid space since I do have hooded it lids. And I basically don't really have a lid. <laughs> um, well, I do have a lid, it just gets hidden. By the way, if you never see my hooded eye tutorial, um, that video has a lot of views. I'll link it down below. So if you have hooded eyes, you might want to check out that video. A lot of people have told me it's really helpful. Um, but before I move on, I am going to run my finger over the base just because I don't want there to be any creasing and I don't want there to be like all this excess product that is not necessary. The finger is just going to kind of pick up that excess product. Okay, we're going to add a little bit of color now and we're going to be using this color here which is Egypt. It's a beautiful shimmery army green. I love it. Such a pretty green. So, I'm just going to take a flat brush. This is by Mikasa Beauty. It's basically like a MAC dupe. And I'm just going to pick that Egypt color on my brush, knock off the excess, and I'm going to apply this on the center of my lid right here. And you don't have to be perfect with this. I'm just going ahead and I'm just patting on that color. You can see it's just such a pretty color. It really is. And then once I get to where that base is, we don't want... I don't know, I'm trying, to, I hope you guys can see. But we don't want to like see that base. Like there's like green and then the base and then the brown. We wanna disguise that. So I'm just gonna kind of pat over that area. Okay. So now for that inner lid space, I'm gonna go ahead and take this color here. I'm not gonna try and pronounce it, I don't know. It's basically like a very yellow gold. And um, I'm just gonna make sure there's no creasing here. And I'm just going to apply that on the inner portion of my eye. It's a really pretty color. It's definitely different. And yeah. So we have that color. And then I'm going to blend it into the green. I want it to be really just like faded. And then honestly this color on top of the green is so beautiful. It creates like a really pretty lighter gold green um i really like those these two colors mixed together so yeah we're just gonna make sure it's really blended and you really don't have to use a lot of products when using juvia's place because it just it's so pigmented so going back in with the color the green brush i'm just gonna reapply it right out here in this area and then going in with this brush again the cut the brush that we use to apply Kenya it's gonna pick up a little bit of Kenya and I'm going to blend that into the green shade I'm liking this eye a lot better of course there's always one eye that you like better this is the eye <laughs> So now moving on, I want this inner corner color to pop a little bit more. So I'm going to be taking Makeup Forever Starlit Powder. This is in the shade 02. It's basically like a white gold. It looks white, but it comes off very gold. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this on like a tiny little brush. And I'm going to apply this on top of the gold that we applied and I'm just gonna kind of like I'm not gonna be like super precise with it I'm just gonna kind of apply it in this whole area here 
I'm just going in with this brush and just blending a little bit. So I'm going to do kind of a smudged liner situation. So I'm just going to take my Inglot number 77 liner and a flat definer brush. This one is by B. Delium Tools. And I'm just going to load some of that product onto my brush. And I'm going to smudge this on my upper lash line. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look like down, pretty much close my eye actually. And I'm just going to kind of tap it on my lash line, bringing it inwards. as well. I'm just going to wipe some product off because I got a little bit too much on there. But again, you're just going to want to just kind of run it along that lash line. And it does not need to be perfect since we are going to kind of be smudging that out. Um, I'm trying to remember what brush I use. Uh, I'll just use this. So now, woo! So now taking like a little detail brush, I'm going to take that color Kenya, put some product on there, and I'm going to press this over the liner because I want it to be kind of smudged. I don't want it to be ultra defined. You could definitely do a wing liner if you prefer. However, I kind of like the look of the smoky liner, it's something I don't do that often, so why not switch it up? I do feel like I need some sort of liner, especially when I'm wearing a thick lash. So um, that's why I'm doing this. All right, so once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and apply MAC Teddy Eye Coal. This is a bronze liner, and I'm just going to apply this in my waterline. My eye is being really sensitive right now. And I'm also going to apply it on my lash line as well. Again, you could be kind of like sloppy with that part because we're gonna be applying eyeshadow on top of it. I'm gonna take Kenya eyeshadow and I'm just gonna run this on the lower lash line. Also bringing it and connecting it to this area here, this outer corner area on the top. And again, bringing this in. Now we're going to blend out. Blend that out. So I'm going to take the Madagascar shade with the pencil brush. This one is also by B. Dallium Tools. And I am just going to apply that right below the Kenya shade. Just blending everything out. I want to make sure it matches with the other eye. <laughs> That's a struggle of doing one eye at a time. Is like you got to make sure you're like doing the exact steps so they match. Now moving on to this inner corner area. I'm going to wipe off this brush. So I'm going to take a facial spray. You could take a setting spray, whatever. I'm just going to spray some on my palette. I'm going to dip my brush in there. And then I'm going to dip my brush in the green color, which is called Egypt. And I'm going to apply this to the inner corner of my eye. I just wanted a little hint of that green on the lower lash line as well. I didn't just want it on the lid. So this is going to kind of bring that green in and just kind of tie everything together. So now that we have that on, I'm going to take the color. Um, actually, I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to go back to this pencil brush. I'm going to take, I'm going to also dip my brush in the um, setting spray. I'm going to take the um, gold color that we use on our lid, not the pigments, the color in the palette. And I'm going to apply that on the inner corner and I'm going to apply it over the green and it's just going to create this really beautiful pop. But we're not done yet with the inner corner. Make sure you kind of bring that up in this area here okay all right now I want to make that pop even more so I'm going to dip my brush in that setting spray again I'm going to take that pigment by makeup forever that gold white gold I'm going to get some of that on the tip of my brush 
and I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner. It just makes it look just so much more vibrant. I really love the way that looks. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a little bit of glitter. I'm gonna be using MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid in Flash and Dash. It's a really pretty like silver, bronze, sparkly liquid shadow. Um, so I'm just gonna take this little applicator that it comes with and I'm just gonna start applying the glitter. I did apply quite a bit of glitter so I'm gonna try and match the other side but I'm just kind of like patting and dragging at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, I do find that this is a little bit, um, there's a little bit less glitter in these. Like the glitter is a little bit chunkier than the Stila ones. There's not really much of like a base to this. It's just kind of like liquid with glitter, if that makes any sense. So... Part of me kind of likes the Stila ones better, the Magnificent Metals, I think they're called. But, I mean, this is pretty. It works, you know? So I'm bringing that up even into that green, like just kind of fading it out. Alright, so once you have that on, you don't have to be perfect with that. Like, I kind of just like applied it all over that inner corner um, area. I kind of like how it's not super perfect. Again, that was something that I hated about this look at first, but now I like it. All right, so once you apply that, you are gonna kinda of wanna fan it off because it does feel pretty wet and you don't want it to crease. So I'm just gonna close my eye and fan it. And then I am gonna go ahead and apply these lashes. These are called 3D Mink Hair in Style. A11. I got these on Amazon. I'm going to apply these with a little bit of mascara and I'll be back to do the lips. Sorry, I'm kind of looking a little wonky right now. I'm just trying not to blink. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to apply these and some mascara and I'll be back. Alright you guys, so I finished up the eyes. Now moving on to the lips. I'm going to be using Patrick Star and MAC um, collab in Mahogany. It's the lip pencil. I'm just going to line my lips. Now I'm going to take Maybelline's lipstick in Nude Embrace 650. It is one of their matte nudes. Um, it's a matte formula. Now finishing that off, I'm just going to use MAC Myth Lip Gloss. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. This concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, don't forget to go check me out on Instagram. I will link it down below, but I will also put it on the screen at makeup underscore by McKenna. And you can enter for a chance to win this beautiful Juvia's Place palette. I absolutely love it. And yeah, if you want a chance to win this palette, then go check me out in there. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, a night, whatever it is, morning, <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye.